Hey everybody, what's going on? Joe's Neon here. And you're with me at the shop. Um, yeah, we got a pretty, uh, pretty exciting project, restoration in, that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to share with you folks. Um, I haven't done any neon videos in a while, and you all know that that is my occupation. So, check it out. Here's what we got from, it is from Waitsfield, Vermont, way up in northern Vermont, <clears throat> um, and it's called the Midtown Motel. That's four by eight. That's going to get a complete repaint. And it's going to get all brand new neon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you folks along on this little journey of the restoration of this old sign. I love this color TV. Yeah, she's a beauty. And I'll take you over now and I'll show you what I'm working on. Now I had to make all the patterns. Let me show you the old glass. This is what was left of the glass. There's not much left as far as whole units. There are units that actually light, um, but this sign has been worked on so many times. We figure it's late 40s to mid 50s. So many of these units have been redone that there's been inaccuracies along the way. So what I did is I took and I made new patterns. Now, like you, like I've, if you've watched any of my past neon videos, everything is bent in reverse. Everything is bent backwards so that the neon is flat in the front when it's installed on the sign. So like these O's were really out of shape. I had to straighten them up again. The M's, everything just from being repaired and remade, some letters were too short. You can see there I had to extend it so that they're all the right height. Um, these are really cute. Let me show you the word no. Here's the little, little neon words no for no vacancy. And here's the pattern for it. I'll show you. That's what the pattern looks like. And here's after I bent the glass. Pretty cool, right? And like I said, you, you can go back in my videos. Here's one of my fires burning here. This is a crossfire to make the shorter bends. The longer bends, such as this O here, or even this O, these longer bends here, are done in the ribbon burner. And I can adjust the length of that fire to any length I want, depending on the length of the bend. So yeah, um, I'm really excited about this, uh, this old restoration. And we've done a couple recently and I didn't take any pictures or shoot video. Now I'm gonna take you right from the way it came into the shop, right to the day that it goes out of the shop. So stick around folks, a lot more to come. Talk to you soon.